First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, true holy black beside the King of Kings, Royal to himself, Yahweh Shah, and Mashiach. Also, the final father, true fighter, one west. This is Father Kings coming back at you yet with another lesson. And before I go farther in the lesson, listen to the 12 tribes of Israel, which is our brothers and sisters that scattered abroad the various islands, which consist of so called Latino, so called Native American Indians, and the so called African American. You represent the 12 tribes of Israel which is the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of the nation of Israel. And I say Shalom to you. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go right into it. The name, I'm going to make this lesson very short. This lesson is going to be called A Society That Failed Us. And this society I'm referring to is Babylon the Great, which is called America. Um, this society has failed us by the way of its policies, by the way of its foreign religions, by the way of its economics, by the way of his social injustices, and by the way of his policies and his agendas. This society has fell us in such a way that our identity has been lost in this captivity. Um, and just have, oh yeah, oh yeah, by the way, just in case you haven't known, we are in captivity. Um, we, are, we have social security numbers attached to us, which makes us debt slaves. That's why you have mortgages. That's why you have car loans. That's why you have uh, credit card debt. All these different traits are to show you that we are in a form of what you call involuntary solitude, which means is a, means voluntary slavery, which also means, quote unquote, debt slaves. So this society has failed us. Let me get a couple of scriptures based off this lesson. This is Lamentation chapter 4, verse 17. As for us in our eyes, I yet fail for our vain help, which is our vain help, America. America don't set up policies and stuff to help us. This not It's not for our benefit of the so-called black and Hispanic and Native American man or his family. As for us, our eyes have yet failed us for a vain help in, in our slokia. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Yeah, America cannot save us. Matter of fact, America is the... Um, the burdens of the black, the so-called blacks, the so-called Native American, so-called Latinos. Because without us, this society can't flourish. That's why the two-thirds of our people who reject this gospel, who reject Yahweh Shah Mashiach, those spirits are actually keeping this system in place, keeping this system going. And that's keeping us in this captivity. Because we are in another form of Egypt. Let me prove that to you. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. That's talking about the Torah trials of Israel. Of the of the great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom because this place is filled with lesbianism and filled with abominable acts, homosexual, all these different things that the Bible speaks out against of. This is, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom. And Egypt, that's the point I want to get to. Egypt, you look up the Hebrew terms of Egypt, it means bondage. Didn't I just mention earlier that they made us into dead slaves? They made us into what we call involuntary con confinement, meaning that you are, they give you an illusion as you free. It's a movie called, that Will Smith was in, it call, it's called The Enemy of the State. In that movie, it shows you how everyone is a social security number. You know what I mean? And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, which also our Lord was crucified. The first scripture come to mind when I read that is Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judge thereof. This place also covered the faces in the image of Yahweh Shah. They gave us a false image of Christ. They gave us a false religion, which is Christianity. And with that, it, it destroyed us as a people. That's why you read Deuteronomy 28 chapter. It says he should put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So America has destroyed us as a person. It destroyed us as a people. It, and also destroyed us far as our connection, and our spiritual connection with our heritage. Because now our heritage is up in the smokes, meaning that other nations don't even know who the Israel who Israel is now. You know what I mean? Now the truth is coming out. Now that now the other nations starting to see who the children of Israel are. But before this truth came out, none of the nations they knew who we were, of course. But it was hidden from the world who the true Israel who the true Israel was.
You know what I mean? That's why it says here that their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is America. Meaning because because the um we was lost of our heritage, our identity. You know what I mean? But now we're coming back into the light. Okay? I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, true honor back with the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final father, true father, one west. It's for all the kings coming back at you yet with another lesson. Shalom.